Well, I remember the 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 therapy went for many many years, and eventually I become very good at swimming, so I become good at sports, and I was probably the best all rounder uh, at school eventually in sports, and then I developed a passion for for wakeboarding. Uh, now, my father, I, I was predisposed to that because my father was a really good barefoot water skier. And I developed this passion for wakeboarding. And I remember my brother and I would go out onto the Hawkesbury River and we would constantly film what we were doing on the water. And then I'd come home and I'd debrief and I'd sit down and I'd ask myself the two most important questions. What did I do right? And what could I do differently next time? And I didn't realise it at that stage, but I was actually self-coaching. And then in two, in 1996, I was interviewed by a magazine called Water Skis News. And they asked my brother, they said, what's Daniel's special talent? And, they, and he said, he's a great coach. Now, I really didn't understand what a coach was at that stage, but I was tending to do it naturally. So I got into sports. I became a three-time state champion athlete. Uh, I became an Australian champion athlete. I competed at the extreme games in wakeboarding and then travelled around the world and was on television, sports movies, magazines, pull-out posters, being a brand ambassador all around the world for the sport of wakeboarding. So it developed into that, and uh, thanks to that sport, I also went back into therapy, but it was physical therapy because I had uh, two major knee reconstructions. So it was a very uh, interesting journey, challenging journey, but the big takeaway from it was learning to be resilient which a lot of people are struggling with today. So I was schooled in resiliency in my first early years and get to benefit from those skills today that I learned 20 and 30 years ago. 